This is Dan Bedanti reporting for the InfoWars Nightly News. We're going to ask the public how they feel about gun control and how they feel about the Southern Poverty Law Center calling patriots domestic terrorists. Do you think citizens should be allowed to have assault weapons? I believe that they should, but they shouldn't have the kinds that people are killing each other with. <laughs> um, I think people should be allowed to have guns just because of collectors. Um, like for recreational purposes and if you have the right like to, like license to have the guns, but I don't think the right should be taken away from people. Absolutely, and they fall within the guidelines that they are um, contributing members of society and that they are responsible. Absolutely. No. Yes, sir. Um, in case anything goes wrong with the country in the future. Absolutely. I mean, I think that they should be able to have handguns. I don't think that that you know a semi-automatic should be shouldn't be uh, available to the local public. No. I, I think we should because I live in the western end, and you know what? Some people show up, and who knows who the hell they are? Uh, yes, I do. Absolutely. Yes. Do you think gun control keeps guns out of the hands of criminals? No, they just get them anyways. Yeah, they would find a way to get them. Definitely not. It's just like drugs. The people that legally have guns are not the ones that are going out and doing these shootings. It's all the illegal ones. Pretty vague question. Absolutely not, because there are other ways that criminals can get them within cities, within the country, um, across by boat, smugglers, human traffickers, etc. Absolutely not. Sometimes somebody knocks on your door and you don't know who the hell they are and at the end of the day, it could be a criminal. No, I don't. Absolutely not. I do not. No. No. Not at all. Should the government have the authority to change or abolish the Second Amendment? No, absolutely not. That's why it's there. Change? Yeah. Abolish? No. Things that don't work, they take out or they change. It's that simple. No, sir. Not at all. Absolutely not. No, no, the government shouldn't have any of that power because that's bullshit. It's taking away our rights and it's not fair to us because when somebody knocks at your front door and they're a criminal, well, what the are you going to do? Absolutely not. They already messed with the Constitution enough. No. No. Not at all. <laughs> and, uh, what are your thoughts about the Southern Poverty Law Center now telling Homeland Security that uh, patriot groups such as Youth Keepers and any patriotic group is a domestic terror? That's baloney. It's ridiculous. I'm, you know, they're just taking our rights away. It just continues. It's wrong. It, you know, uh, it really aggravates me. The politicians are going way overboard here with things. Way overboard. Well, I think the Tea Party are. Uh complete right-wing fanatics, so anything that keeps them in check, I'm okay with. Um, the uh, Southern uh, Poverty people, Southern Southern Poverty Law, yeah, you know, I always get that name wrong. I'll take them over any government agency any damn day, so that kind of that kind of gives you your answer there, right? I think that's bullshit. And as you can see, the public has different thoughts about gun control, and this is Dan Bedanti reporting for the InfoWars Nightly News. Yeah!